Like a plan? First comedian from Bremerton, Washington, Maria Aragon, everyone. diagnosed with breast cancer, which was a real bummer. Yeah. yeah, a tumor was not what I meant when I wanted two more cup sizes. <laughs> so I had the choice of removing one or both breasts. I decided just to remove the one with cancer. And I know you're all thinking. <laughs> which one? It's fine, sometimes I forget to. <laughs> this one is still in training bras. This one didn't accept training. She was the weakest link. I said goodbye. <laughs> I usually start with breast cancer jokes and people are like, Maria, that's too sad. It's too tragic. After losing one tit, you better believe I'm going to be milking it. <laughs> Yeah, one boob, I have to milk it twice as much. <laughs> Mardi Gras beads, twice. <laughs> Don't worry guys, I'm cancer free now. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no radiation, no chemo, no I'm not a lesbian. The short hair is a lifestyle choice. Yeah, um, no matter what I do with my hair, I'm not hit on by men or women, but not even when I flash my Subaru keys. Okay. So no radiation, no chemo, no homo. Uh, so my first name is Maria. In Filipino culture, I was told Maria is to honor the Virgin Mary. I wish someone would have told me that 10 years ago. Yeah. Virgin Mary, that's a lot to live up to. I mean, are all Marias so holy? I looked up 100 famous Marias. I was hoping to find scientists, maybe some architects, maybe some lawyers. I found cleaning ladies, uh, internet hackers, and YouTube stars. <laughs> that's just not enough Marie greatness for me, guys. So next week, I'm making a big decision. I'm applying to law school. But whatever it takes to make Maria's great again, right? Because we can't all be Virgin Marys. <laughs> so growing up, some kids used to call me Marie, for sure. My name's Maria. And I didn't really like that. I would say, uh, to add the A to the end. You know, like, Marie, uh. They didn't like that. I guess, you know, other kids were being called Shorty, Four Eyes, or Accident. <laughs> guess I should have been fine with Marie. So I'm second generation Filipino American, and sometimes I land between Filipino and American. Like I can't decide, pancit or potato salad, <laughs> or French fries or lumpia, yeah. right? or Greg or Ignacio. <laughs> I only ask for seconds when it comes to men. <laughs> oh, I did learn three good things, though, about uh, growing up with Filipino culture. One, go to church. Two, stay a virgin. And three, if you eat Filipino foods, you better eat seconds. <laughs> I have a problem with that. Does it look like I eat seconds often? Yeah. Like I said, only when it comes to men. <laughs> <laughs> Guess there's a reason why I'm single. <laughs> no. Yeah, my parents are always so disappointed when we go to family parties. They're like, Maria, you eat like a bird. Yeah, it's, it's not, I, I'm not the black sheep of the family because I didn't go to church. It's not because I lost my virginity. It's because I didn't eat seconds at Auntie Sally's house last week. <laughs> <sighs> what else do I have for you? Um, oh, yes. So one of my friends said, Maria, don't date other comics. Uh, they're all messed up. I was like, oh, that's why I feel so at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, and I was thinking, you know, with the, with the whole man-to-woman ratio in stand-up comedy, like, I should be getting hit on a lot more, right? <laughs> uh, my friend, uh, he walked me to my car one night, and he was, we were after a comedy show, and he was like, oh, Maria, so you drive a Subaru. <laughs> I guess I'm not dating anyone because they think I like to lick the labia. <laughs> Breast cancer taught me a lot, guys, YOLO. <laughs> to me, it means you only lost one. That's my time, guys. Thanks so much. Have a good night.